first thing you've got to know about having babies is you have to be able to feed them. So, an obscure bloke in a museum about 20 years ago was playing with all the skin and they were looking at some skins of budgies that were something like 200 years old. And when they did, they, st they started to glow. And that was the beginning of all that we're going to talk about now. Now, to get the most out of the talk, there's a few things you need to notice because when we turn the lights off and put these on, it's going to change and you won't get it. And they should memorise it. Notice that's a sky blue field. I don't know how many of your budget people but there's pure white wind and a lovely turquoisey sky blue. Um, notice here we've simply got basically a yellow and a white. That's easy. Um, and here, if you look, basically they're greens. They aren't, of course. I mean, you know I'm reading it down the false track. But, yeah, they look like they're greens, although, gee, that one is quite foreign. Yeah. Anyway. So sky blue clearing, yellow and white, bush budgets, this is where it all started. So can you, can you turn it off please, Chris? Now if you look at the forest on the bush budgies, and this is the one that I know most of you can't see, but that's a bush budgie. They're the runway lights at the airport. Most birds that breed in hollows have ultraviolet pigment because they can see that better than ordinary pigment. And that's how the parents can find the babies to feed them in a dark, hollow log. Gurlians. Gurlians. When they open their mouth, they've got all these dots and everything inside it. it again, they're classic uh, airport runway lights. So that you can find the baby and feed it, the baby can find it, to receive it from you. So that's what they started for. Now, this one, you remember, was a pure white wing and sky blue on the body. It's now basically purplish on both the, the wing and the body. Um, these, of course, are the amazing ones. I'll get to the last. This is a yellow, and look at it, it's even got the yellow glow down on the wing. So, this one, the majority of its body and head is glow in the dark, in other words, ultraviolet light. Note that the white one, the back, doesn't do anything. And where are we? Yeah, look. Look at his shoes. Yeah. See? That's what should happen, you would think. Yeah. I'll tell you why it does happen in that. Um, but the, the white budgies don't glow white, the white wings on the clear wing don't glow white at all. Now these are a series of hybrids which Gary Gazard and I have been developing. We don't know exactly what to do with them yet, we don't understand them. Watch this. The body where you shine on is purple. There's better ones than that, but See how you see the purple there? With, look there, look at that. Look at the purple. Mm -hmm. I know some of you have got a picture there. We haven't sort of set it up here before, but most of these have got rich violet bodies and they've got all this ultraviolet pigment on them too. So if you can imagine you're a bird, there's a lot more colours to see in the universe than human beings can see. I noticed this one, by the way, it's glowing, but it's white. So white can glow, but it doesn't. Now that's a white cap, but it's glowing because in the white cap they have huge, these birds have all got white cap in them, and that's where you get all the glow from. And much more area of glow, look at the whole mask and heads brilliantly coloured, and back to the bush budget, just a little bit on the forehead and a couple of stripes on the mask. Want to know why your lashes glow? Tell me. Same reason as you get to hide is safety gear. Yellow yeah, doesn't glow. And yet it does, doesn't it, when you look at it on the high vis stuff. Yeah. They've just put, um, as well as the yellow people, they've put ultraviolet in there. So often with white clothing, because it's the cheap of white, they dye it white and then they put the UV pigment in, which again makes it look whiter than white.
So the ones that find that spot on the head, the UV that's sexually attractive, they breed better because they're going to raise more babies on it. So it's a sexual attraction and they just want to research. They've got a whole bunch of babies, pretty much. And they put a clear sunburn cream on their forehead. Now that stopped the UV reflection of light coming in. And they put Vaseline on some others. Now Vaseline doesn't stop any light coming out, it's just greasy, but the same greasy as the um, sunscreen. And all the poor birds that had this sunscreen on never got a partner. So they're sitting there alone going, mm -hmm. what's wrong with me? <laughs> so, and that ensured then that they had this wonderful mechanism to find babies. Now all parents pretty much are log breeders, so they all tend to have UV colours in some way or other. 